the most important part is to identify who I want to do business with and make sure that in that process that yes, can I make money with this client, but can I be who I am? When I started the company, I was excited about what was happening in the industry, but I was also excited about the opportunity to be part of an industry that didn't include a lot of women or minorities or LGBTQ. And so it just got really fired up to grow a business in that environment. Recognizing that you can have access and be fortunate enough to, to grow up in a business or in a family, um, but the system exists. And when you haven't really thought about what that is, uh, then you may not know how you need to show up in that space. The construction industry, the lighting industry, it's looking for a certain person. It's used to seeing that person, those implicit bias take over. I realize that that is part of the system, but just because it is doesn't mean that I don't belong here. Shame is a huge thing that we hold on to as uh, part of the LGBTQ community and that I needed to deal with shame as it relates to being a lesbian in, in the business world. I needed to stop justifying being here. I am good enough. Once I became an LGBTQ certified business and I went to the NGLCC conference and I surrounded myself with thousands of other LGBTQ business owners and, and advocates, not just allies, the shame started to just peel away from me. But it really started with me letting go of that shame, being who I was, attracting that talent, and creating a space for us to, to do great things. When I started the business, I, I just, I started the business to make money. But what I really recognized later that was charging me was finding ways to include people that weren't included in the lighting industry and the construction industry. The call to action was how can I create advocates that are in control of contracts, that are in control of the marketplace, in control of access to product lines. One of the things that I've recognized after being a certified LGBTQ business for over 10 years is we have to be part of that change. I have actively recruited individuals that are not part of the system. I've invested in these people to gain skills and capabilities and attending a meeting where they walk in and they don't look anything like anybody in the room and listen to them take command and control and watch them be part of that conversation is how I know I've had an impact on the system and part of unwinding what has been done.